Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday, December 4th. It's not gonna December, December. Not, I said December. I think it's that December. You'll tell me if I did. Anyway, we are at Hollywood Studios. And when though it looks like it's going to rain. It shouldn't rain even though Diane's got a rain jacket on. Uh, anyway, I'm cold. what I was gonna say is we didn't film anything this morning except for when we got here. So all we did this morning is get up, go grab a quick bite at the quick service area at All Star Movies. Mm -hmm. um, we just shared like a croissant egg sandwich thing. Have really big lunch. And we have lunch at Brown Derby. We are here at 8.30 ish for a nine o'clock open. There are no early morning hours for any of the parks today for hotel guests. They did have one Hollywood Studios and then they canceled it. Well, yeah, anyway. Don't think I didn't notice this. She always notices. Anyway, so we're here. We're gonna go. We're not gonna go run to Slinky Dog because we have a fast pass for that a little later in the day. We're gonna go do um, Midway Mania or Toy Story Mania, whatever they call it here, because it's not Midway anymore. I think it's just uh, cool. just Toy Story Mania. Um, and then we're gonna meet Mickey and Minnie. And Minnie. Sort of. We're sort of dressed like them. I'm just wearing a shirt. I have some socks. You'll see um, at some point. Um, but yeah, we're gonna meet them. Ride a couple rides, have lunch, hang out, see the sights of Hollywood Studios and the holiday theming, and then go back to the room and chill until we have the party tonight. Because it's party one of two tonight. Thursday's the second one. So we're gonna be doing that tonight. So today's gonna be a Hollywood morning and a magic evening. <laughs> he thinks he's so funny, but he's not. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get a line to get our back checked. Bye. So we've walked into Hollywood Studios and this is all the decorations. Uh, there's a lot of people amassed in line, so we're gonna try to get in that line. I'm gonna get in line, it looks like Diane might go to Starbucks, we'll see. Uh, she knows what to get me if she's gonna get me anything. Walking into Toy Story, you can see a scarf on Woody. Mr. Potato Head is awake this morning. And as we exit Toy Story Mania, a couple of things. My string did not work for most of the games. That's okay. But as we exit, we'll be going past all the Instagram walls. So I'll point them out as we go. They also are out of the uh, popcorn buckets. Yeah, they're out of the alien popcorn buckets. So at least we don't have to worry about getting one now because they don't have any. But they don't have any, so that stinks. To get the monkeys. Army Man building. Bamboo shoots growing, slowly but surely, trying to hide the uh, cast number areas. I have a connects a helicopter being built by an army man here, although he could never fit inside it. But now we come up on the Instagram walls here. You have the checkerboard wall, which some people try to make a thing, but really isn't one. I think it's cute. She thinks it's cute. Bamboo. Then we have the lollipop or poly, uh, popsicle wall. Again, these are all exiting the ride. And then we come up to the exit. So if you want to get those Instagrammable pictures in front of that lollipop wall or the popsicle wall, whatever it's called, you can come through the exit and just tell a cast member that's what you're doing and they'll usually let you do that. Or you can just ride the ride. Woody and Jesse in their Christmas attire. And then we'll come up on Buzz. Oh, no boat, nope, Buzz not here right now. Buzz is not meeting currently, so we don't have to worry about meeting Buzz. 
the line for Slinky Dog, apparently, or... Uh, overtaken buses area. Yeah. yeah, something, I'm not sure. That's what it is, I guess, is they've, they've overflowed it over here, so... Well, over here to the right now. Oh, okay, they moved him over here. Still, still got a decent line. It may be less of a line, I'm not sure. But I'll get a picture of him with his uh, Santa hat on. Very, very animated. But it looks like too long a line for us if we've got the other stuff we need to do. So we're going to go meet uh, Sorcerer Mickey and, and um, Starlet uh, Minnie, I guess. So since the last time we came, they had some uh, more construction walls up, but they've taken those down. So it's a little bit more open to see the Chinese theater now. Still working on getting the runaway railway completed. And we'll be happy to ride that as soon as it's open, probably sometime later next year. I wore a pink dress for you because I thought this was such a beautiful dress. I want to be like Minnie. I look right over there. Look right over here. You got the socks? Oh, I'll catch you. You're all over the place. Just a little walking around here, stopped off at the tap house to change my socks back to regular short socks rather than my phantasmic socks or fantasia socks, whatever the case may be. Uh, but I've got some construction stuff up over here around Star Wars a little bit. And yeah, we're gonna see what else we wanna do. We'll probably look and see some of the um, decorations over here and see Gertie and different things. And then we'll make our way to Tower of Terror. So we're here on the lake. Gonna look at the tree. Can't wait to get a picture of it at night. Very cool. Yeah. They do have the lights on, but it's hard to see, of course. And they've got balls all floating. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, they're actually mines, so if you ever try to go swim in there, they'll blow up and kill you. So don't go swimming in there. Just kidding. Diane said just kidding. I, I'm serious. Oh, look at the little Rudolph. Mm -hmm. but, you know, well, a little non-distinct non uh, reindeer, uh, whatever. It's not a Rudolph. It only is. Uh, Footsteps of Gertie. Mm -hmm. And Gertie with a hat and, of course, eating a Christmas ornament. Got a few pictures taken, and now we're heading down Sunset Boulevard, Boulevard, just to see some of the sights. And then, um, obviously, in the evenings, this is where they'll have the projections on the Tower of Terror, and some of the billboards will be showing videos, etc. We'll try to get a glimpse of that one of the evenings that we're here, I believe, Friday. Friday. Um, not tonight because we have a party tonight of course but you can kind of get a preview of what it looks like in the daytime before you see it at nighttime later so we've done a few things since we last spoke one of which was meeting Santa right here at Once Upon a Time, uh, the little uh, toy shop. Uh, he's also meeting there, which is a really cool experience. We'll tell you more about that after we sit down probably and relax. 
Then we did our fast pass for Tower of Terror. Should have a picture of that. Then we did our fast pass for Rock and Roller Coaster. Should have a picture for that. And now we're just kind of wandering around. We have a lunch reservation at Brown Derby at noon. It's uh, 10.30 right now. So we've got a while, so we're just gonna kind of hang out, maybe try to modify a fast pass for Slinky Dog to be earlier, but it's not working right now. Um, probably won't be able to change it, so we'll just have to do it after lunch. But if we can change it, we'll do it. Otherwise, we're gonna shop and kind of wander around a little bit. But uh, right now, we're just kind of walking against the green, because a lot of people have left Toy Story area, most likely, and they're coming towards Tower of Terror to do this ride now. So you can see, just we're kind of going against the green. A lot of people are walking away from us, back behind us. But we're gonna enjoy Hollow Studios. Hey guys, we have made it down to Grand Avenue and we found these rascally squirrels right here. Chipmunk, sorry. We have Chip and Dale meeting over here off of Grand Avenue near the Muppets. Very cute. They are very precious in their little Christmas outfits. But I'm gonna show you some of the stuff here down Grand Avenue. Not too, too busy. But we're just walking, gonna look at the windows, gonna look at the Muppet area, and then finally head to our lunch reservation. And way back here, past Pizza Rizzo, is old Santa climbing up the fire escape. And some more lights and different things and all that. And you can have see that the uh, area here, some of the windows are still Halloween-y with Jack Skellington um, with the Muppets exit. But there's also a little Christmas shop here. Way, way back, back, back here. One of the Muppets, 3D exits. So you can see Diane, uh, she, she errantly took off the uh, fruit before the looking at it. Well, you can eat the cherry now. Okay, good. So yeah. she got a sangria. I got a blue moon. We both got waters. I'm ha what, did you, what did you have coming? You're having the Cobb salad here? I'm having Cobb salad. Oh, the, the brown derby. Yeah, the brown derby. <laughs> Reminds me of Carthay Circle a little bit. Well, but it's... Um, I ordered the brown derby, I ordered the top salad. No turkey, add chicken, because I'm weird like that. Yep. The bread is friends. still in the oven, but as soon as it's ready, I'll Oh, yeah, it'll be nice and warm. Hot bread. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm excited for that. Eric, what did you order? I ordered Wagyu beef burger. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's lunchtime. Didn't want to get like a big entree or whatever. So we just got a burger with fries. You know, it's gonna be pretty normal. Yeah. Um, we're looking forward to that. We're gonna be having hot sauce um, later. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly stand up and show you some of the uh, celebrity caricatures on the wall. And the seating's pretty cool. So just sort of like the uh, the real brown derby, they've got the. Artist renderings for the members on here. Signatures, different things. Obviously these are just copies. But it's pretty nice and pretty nice in here. Nice mood lighting and everything. Um, but we look forward to having our food soon. Thank you. My burger with an egg on it. That'd be great, thank you. Diane's salad. Yeah, that as well. We'll toss that and I'll grab the salad. Okay, great. The magic of the tossing of the salad is great. I know. These salads are so good. Oh, I don't know why chopping it up makes it taste better, but it's magic and it yeah. works. There you are. I'm going to grab the pepper. I will come right back. Thank you. And this burger smells amazing right now. Yeah, good, good. And those fries look really good too, the little wedges. Fries. And almost more ketchup than I have fries, but that's so, okay. If you're not coming into the parks during the day, but you still would like a really good pop salad at the current Florida Cafe, that's what. And right now, obviously, it's decorated for Christmas. We do tea over there. And my favorite thing is what I did yesterday is grab a drink. I did an apple uh, cider mimosa and walk the grounds and take photos. Where did you get that apple uh, cider mimosa? In, in the lobby, literally. They were at the front desk. So pretty easy to do so. But yeah, we're gonna eat and enjoy. Diane and I just had a wonderful meal at the Brown Derby and had a very eventful few moments um, as this all occurred. As you can see, she is wearing an alien. Santa alien popcorn bucket, which is very much in demand. They do have them right there right now. So they must have gotten- They were literally out. Like they got them today. They got them today at noon, probably. And Diane went to the restroom. 
found a lady that had like what I what I saw was a very new unscratched bucket being hold, held by a child, which let's be honest, that child would have used it. And so I'm like, where did you get that book? Out to the left, and I'm like, hey. so, so I'm while like, so while I was sitting at at food you know, and, and finishing. Using my iWatch to communicate with Eric through like walkie talkie and text. Yeah. And I mean it's horrible like But anyway alien like Alan. But anyway, anyway. You you told me that you were doing so I we had ordered dessert. Um got it to go instead. We have a fast pass for Slinky Dog which is hard to come by that expires in about fifteen minutes. Yep. And while she was out doing that, I'll insert a picture of someone that walked past who was doing a candlelight processional um, the last couple nights. Um, John Stamos walked by. Which I got a quick video of him as well, which I might insert the video right here. So we're here at the Brown Derby and John Stamos just walked in. I'm not going to go and creep on him, but that's John Stamos. Cool stuff. I love... But Diane had to... Uh, get the alien bucket, didn't know, and maybe by all uh, turns of fate, had she not gotten it, it's possible that she would not have even seen him come in because he came in behind where she was sitting. If I had been in the restroom or something like that, she may never have noticed he walked past because he had a hat on and glasses and everything else. So yeah, that was an interesting few minutes, and now we're going to go ride Slinky Dog and finish our day here at Hollywood Studios. Whee! So before we head to the party, Diane kind of wanted to come see the Mighty Ducks area. That was one of her favorite films growing up as a kid. She grew up a hockey fan, and obviously this was a hockey movie, and it was a Disney movie, so... Hi! Got a waving uh, uh, lifeguard. But yeah, she really liked Mighty Ducks, so we're just going to kind of look at the Mighty Ducks duck pond pool. With Goofy as the goalie on one side. And not regulation size, or regulation frozen but close enough thank you so busy <laughs> the other pool actually has people in it and obviously towards back towards the lobby they have the dalmatians area here got corella in her car up there the other bad guys i don't know their name is in the truck and pongo and pongo and what Parita. Parita. pongo and Parita. And then all other 100 and, or all other 99 Dalmatians, right? Wasn't the sick? Because there were two of them, right? There's 99 babies and a hundred, or yeah, 99 babies and then two, the mom and the dad, I think. Yeah, pretty cool.